Hello, hello to all amazing people and welcome to my insanely long cursed run in Slice and Dice, an amazing dungeon crawler with dice uh, rolling mechanics and uh, heroes you level up and equip and all that good stuff. You can find the full playlist in the comment description below the video. I'm on uh, wave 128 out of infinity. For those of you who don't know what the cursed run is, it's uh, after every boss fight you get a tier 1 curse and after every 20 fight you get a blessing and reset back to level one keeping the curses and blessings and yeah here's this all my curses and blessings uh so after i do every cycle i go through all of it so if you want to check it out you should check out my last level you should check out my 120 wave kill to see me go through my curses and blessings in detail but anyway let's fight the next boss here uh so it's gonna be the sarcophagus this thing, I flee at the end of turn 3 and drop a tier 3 to 5 item if defeated. So, <clears throat> I would need to do like 10 damage per turn on average, even a little bit more because of this thing here. I don't think I can do 10 uh, damage per turn on average. So, I think I'm just gonna let, have to let it escape. Uh, even though that does not make me super happy, yeah. This one's four. I mean... It might... Maybe it's not impossible, it's just very unlikely. But... Uh, let's see how it goes. There's also this nose, and there's also some more summons. Yeah, we also need to defend ourselves, we can't just focus on damage. Let's see what is the next hero that we can grab here. Sadly, we don't have the Seer available. Seer would maybe make it possible. Uh, with some extra mana from uh, Fortel, but hey, no such luck today. Uh, let me see. Right. I'm not going to have Seer at all. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. Sparky might do a lot of damage though. I'm actually considering him. Hmm. I think we grab Sparky here. Evoker. Four damage to the topmost enemy. I have better thing. Oh no, I don't. Four damage for three. It's not too bad. That would mean I would need like... Only 23 mana or so. So let's say 21 mana would do like, what, 28 damage? 21 mana. It doesn't seem that impossible to do in three turns, actually. But then we are stuck with this Evoker character. Uh, one damage to all heroes and monsters can only be cast once each turn. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Add decay, no. One damage engage, no. Should I try it? What's this? Oh yeah, let's grab the evoker and see what happens. A treble to the left side. Other keywords times two become times three. Do we have any times two keywords? Well, I could have grabbed engage actually, but I failed to do so. Oops. Um. I think it's gonna escape most probably. I'll just go and fight it. It might kill us <laughs> before it does. <laughs> That's the thing. Um, I probably prefer something else here. Two mana pain. Okay. Hmm. 
Let's try to get something better with glacial. So, I mean, I can stop. Oh yeah, there's also the shield, of course. <laughs> there's no way. Too much HP. That's pretty good though for mana. Um. Uh, I don't know. How much does the drop do? For damage. So if I kill the B, I can they'll probably deal with the null. Okay, you're killing the cleric, but you can the cleric can def defend itself. This thing can defend him. Yeah, I just I should just focus on killing the gnolls and defending myself. Uh, as as much as it's a little bit shame not to get these items. Just too much. So, yeah. Um uh, This might be all right actually. Okay. And the cat Okay. Probably not gonna be able to utilize the cat anyway, but let's see. Well, I say that, but I can do double drop here. Um, the vent of evoker, do the burst. And then the drop to kill that thing also. No, I can stun this thing. It's not gonna exert itself though. But like, I'm gonna be in a really good shape here. Okay, so two more turns I have to survive before this menace goes away. Okay. Um. Let's see, I think this is... Okay, we can do that. All right, phew! <laughs> you are welcome. Uh, we can chill this turn. To make this thing less deadly. Okay, I can't drop kill the null though. I think this is the best I can do. I can do one damage with the burst. I mean, I can kill it with the burst, I guess that's fine. Okay. Yeah, just way too much, way too much. That's good, that's good. And now he's gonna bail. It is what it is. Nobody dies though, that's pretty important, so yeah. All right, dude, you can escape. I guess I should be happy I didn't get a bell or something like that because that would be hideous. Okay, uh, Slimer, Zombie, Bones. Okay, let's see what we get in terms of item. Glass Blade. Replace the left side with 5 damage. Glass Blade lost upon that. I see. And the other item, Ink Bottle. Replace blank sides with Shield 1 Cantrip. That's kind of cool, actually. I don't mind that. If nothing else, it's good on a kitty cat. I'm gonna put it on the walker for now. And the curse! Monster left second tier or start damage. Ah. <laughs> we're getting to the point where we're gonna have zero HP. Monster left. I guess we grab monster left. Plus two. That's so scary. That's probably not as bad as getting even more damage when starting the fights, right? Right. Okay. 
Okay, I wanna reroll at least this one. Nope. Don't wanna reroll anything else. Mm. In a single attack, yeah, that's not gonna happen. I mean, the cat can kill, well, almost kill something. We're probably pretty alright in this situation. I wonder if I should try to roll something better here, though. Let's try. That's cool. That's not cool. That's pretty nice. Um, so let's see, I could kill the Slimer or almost kill the Slimer. I think letting B just kill itself is fine. Um, Fit the monster, let's go. I mean, I can chill this dude so he doesn't do his thing. And then let's see. Let's protect the cat. Protect ourselves, protect yourself. Okay, B is killing itself, that's great. And after that, I can kill the bones. Yeah, zombies gonna stick around for a while more. Now they all get plus one. This is the turn we should we kill as many of them as we can because look at this. So many of my people are getting totally destroyed. Um, cat can do better, definitely. This is fine for now. Okay. Not the best rolls ever. Uh, let's see. I can get some mana, but... Should have left that ability on the cat, I guess. Yeah. Well, too late now. Um... Okay, I don't think I killed the zombie, but... I can kill the slimelet. <coughs> okay. Um, if you burst that, then you're already looking a little bit better. Who's killing the cat? The bones? Yeah, I don't think we killed the bones, so sadly, cat is gonna go to eternal pastures here. Okay, got that mana. I can kill, burst the bones. I can burst the slimelet. I can do that. Okay, sorry, cat. You have way too low HP. Too fragile. Okay. This will be a really close fight, it seems like. Okay. So I have two mana. I can kill the bones with it, but... This is really scary. Is this how it ends? Maybe not, we'll see. Okay, that's a good dice though. Oh, we can kill the zombie with a drop. That's pretty good. All right, I think we survive. <laughs> uh, 
Just fight this one bones now. Okay. Nope. Well, I can just drop. All right. To that people. Not really great. Be fanatic grave. Oh, this doesn't do... Oh. <laughs> Summon two bones on the left. Of course. If it rolls that, I'm in big trouble. So hopefully it doesn't. Okay. Um, <laughs> level tier three. Okay. I mean, wizard plus the cat worked really good in the past. Plus inspires pretty good. Uh, no Valkyrie yet. Uh, Artificer, lots of mana. Sorcerer, oh, it's the cantrip person. Okay, one damage poison. Cleave. Okay, Chronos. Dash hero can use their dice again, and it has two gross dice, which are pretty cool. But uh, we need burst here, I think to survive I think I definitely want Valkyrie so this one is not like Artificial has a lot of mana so it might be good also 2 damage to all enemies is kind of cool it's gonna be Artificial or the Wizard I don't really have any good ways to boost these though right yeah. So I don't know. I'm really missing my seer. Let's go with the wizard. Instead of evoker. Uh, kind of like the evoker. Hmm. What are some other options? Replace Glacia. Kronos gives us some nice flexibility with this ability also. Sure. Okay, good. <laughs> I was still not out of the wood, but every time it misses, like, is another ter turn of hope. To be suiciding, okay. Who is militia attacking the cleric? Okay. I mean, Militia is the easiest one to get rid of. I kind of want to roll this, but it's 1 in 6, so I should probably not gamble. And this one's hard to use, but I guess I want this, right? Okay, and then I can reroll this one still, which I want to, so... So the cat can do 6 damage now, which is pretty nice. Okay. Um, hmm. How do we save the pilgrim? We would have to kill this fanatic, which has, what, 13 HP, so that's not gonna happen. The bee is going down there, but can't really kill the cat, so that's pretty nice. Um... I mean, I could do this also to get some more mana. That gets minus one to his peep system. This doesn't do much. Okay. It's 
If I do this, he's like two away from dying, which is good. So now Kronos is also dying. I could protect my people with shields. I'm not sure if it's worth it. That's the thing. It might be, especially since Fnatic is doing a lot of damage to itself. Hmm. I can kill the... Yeah, too bad we didn't get the roll here, right? Yeah. Like that, not like this. Okay, let's see how it goes. <laughs> oh wait, what? Oh yeah, yeah, it gets plus one to everything, of course. Um, okay. Oh yeah, I can't roll more than two. Okay. All right, let's see. So I can kill this fanatic, which is really good. And Kronos can avoid the damage. That solves everything. And now... Fanatic's killing himself, which is great. I can kill the militia. I'm gonna get the bones, but that's not too bad. Uh, I mean, I can also do this so the bones doesn't spawn. One damage we can cleave. Oh, it's it's like that. Yeah, it looks pretty good actually. So the fanatic dies. Grave doesn't summon the bones. We need to hit it two more times for it to die. That looks pretty good, actually. That dodge was so good. He doesn't do anything. Okay. Uh, looks pretty good so far. Yeah, it's six mana. I actually want to reroll this as well. Okay, yeah. We just have all the mana in the world now. Okay, we burst down the grave and we can burst down the militia. All right, all right. It's going super great. Spiker. On hit, damage the attacker for two. Okay, so we need to kill this with, with magic, which is fine. We have plenty of magic. Shade, Ugh, shade's nasty. Okay, pauldron, plus two, minus two. Okay, sponge. An enemy dies, plus one pip to all sides this turn. Oh, that's interesting. I like that. Who's the best target? We could give it to the cat. Because these cleaves are really useful. But considering what we are fighting right now, it's not that useful. I can give it to the cleric, actually. For now, and then we'll see. <laughs> sponge. Why is this called a sponge? I don't know. But fine. Thirteen HP. Okay, Kronos can dodge, which is amazing in the current circumstances. Uh, this is not that great, then, right? So, yeah. I mean, I guess I can save one damage, but is that really that great? I want to try to get like the one which lets me repeat the thing. Okay, now I can reroll him. Oh, 
Alright. Okay. Um, so, doing 3 damage to the Shade is like really good. That means we can kill it next turn. Get a whole bunch of mana there, there. We protect this one and then... Okay. Um, oh yeah, thank you. Thank you, game. That's a good point. There we go. <laughs> Don't waste your mana. <laughs> Don't waste your mana. It's so hard to play without a seer, though. Okay, great, great, great. Alright, I guess. So, if we burst down the B, and we burst down the, the shade, and so this one gets 4 pips now, get 7 mana, we can do a double drop, and then a kitty cat can go and be like, yeah. What in the world is that? I didn't see this boss yet. Wendigo. Oh, this is so bad. So, I have Tower 16. So this thing, whatever it is, usually has only 14 HP. Jesus. The top non-magic hero add possessed and mandatory to all sides. Must be used if possible. Targets as if used by the other side. Oh. That's interesting. So he's possessed. So he's fighting for the enemies. From all the people... I think... Pilgrim was one of the better choices. Well, actually, no, Cleric's the best choice, right? Yeah, because, like, mana always goes to me, right? Hmm, interesting. Uh, okay. 9 damage heavy, alright. 10 damage, plus 5, bloodlust, eliminate. Plus one pip for each damaged enemy. Okay, we're all damaged. Great. <laughs> 10 damage. Uh, and be torn and torn. I mean, it's not too bad. Like, these, all of these abilities are like... Yeah, but who will be the target? So he has the dodge and Pilgrim is... Ah, I see. He's gonna be killing people one by one because I don't have way, like, only Kronos can dodge. So, not sure exactly how am I supposed to win this, but maybe. Ooh, maybe I get a Valkyrie. There is a good chance to get a Valkyrie. I think Valkyrie is the only way to save this situation. I need a Valkyrie and Valkyrie needs to like block his attacks every turn for me to survive. There's also a couple of Thorns which will make it even worse. We might need to sacrifice cat the cat to go and kill both Thorns at the same time. But it's useful. She has 9 life so that's fine. Oh, what a run, what a run. But I'm gonna make a cut here, hopefully enjoyed it, this super long run. Uh, but yeah, it's I'm starting to like find cracks in my strategy. If you did uh, enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe. I definitely had a better run when I was playing with the Seer than with, uh, with the cat, the murder on four legs. It's just that, yeah, cat falls off a little bit when, uh, when the bosses have like a zillion of HP. So yeah, have a wonderful day everyone, do some nice things, be kind to each other and uh, let's make the world a better place together. Uh, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of Slice and Dice. Daniel Emerson out, bye bye.